What we found in your room justified all our fears. How long have you been reading these, these horrid books? That old black The door opened, as though being pulled by some unknown force. Hey everyone, M Hotep, welcome back to my channel. This is just your warning, <laughs> what you're about to see is probably gonna be the most stupidest and messiest vlog ever and then like the longest answer to a question ever so I'm just warning you now this is going to waste your time so I'd highly recommend that you do something else if you do want to watch this do something else while this plays in the background <laughs> that's that's all I'm gonna say about that but I mean no no it's just gonna be it's so it's so long it's so long I am home from the dentist. <laughs> I keep looking at my face. And <laughs> I can't. <laughs> so my face has just completely collapsed on one side because of the freezing. And every time I look at myself, which is why I'm looking over there every so often, it's just cracking me up. <laughs> so this should go back to normal in about a day or two. Hopefully about a day. I've already started like not bleeding anymore which is good but I'm gonna keep a gauze on there every so often anyway just take some painkillers and then just jump into bed and relax probably gonna do some reading for now I don't do any writing or editing or anything like that so <laughs> I'm just trying really hard not to look at myself because it's the funniest thing <laughs> I can't <laughs> I can't it's the, funny, it's the funniest thing but anyway <laughs> today is over <laughs> Gosh, I look so fucking weird. <laughs> I looked at my dog earlier and she was like, oh, you do look weird, but I still want a treat. So I just gave her a treat. That's why she's running around in the background. <laughs> but anyway, peace out for now. I'm doing better. I'm doing better. There's like sharp bits in my mouth. It could just be the sutras or the blood clotting, like doing really well. So I don't know but I'm doing a lot better. For the last, how many hours is this? 36 hours? I did feel really emotional. <laughs> um, to the point where last night, I just burst into tears <laughs> during dinner. And I mean dinner as in my husband had like a nice little snack because he won't eat dinner unless I eat dinner. And I couldn't really eat anything and I just started bawling my eyes out. <laughs> And then <laughs> this morning after he'd gone to work, I was crying again. And I was like, what is happening? So I Googled um, like before 
he left and I just had to remind myself that it's just a side effect of the anesthesia and like the freezing as it begins to wear off it's it can make you emotional especially if you've been waiting for a while to deal with a problem it can sometimes make you emotional so you could be completely normal and then suddenly just be bawling your eyes out <laughs> for no reason but then I don't know I guess it's just your brain's way of saying like I'm in relief but the rest of your body hasn't quite caught up if that makes sense or your body's already healing but your brain is still in shock I don't know it's very interesting but yeah not emotional at the moment just little bits of pain here and there. So I just take like the odd painkiller here and there. I find I don't need to take that many, but I'm taking it because they're um, an anti-inflammatory. So it's helping to take the swelling down, which is good. I have just a little bit of swelling, but yeah, that's all for now. I'm just taking some time out from writing and doing other creative endeavors right now um, to answer a quick question, which is, do I plan on making any more videos? And I guess also throwing in a bit of a shout out toward the end of this section of this already crazy and very messy vlog um, of YouTubers that I really like. Yeah. I like to plan my videos where I can. I find that I have a bit more creative freedom on this channel for the time being. Um, as far as my other channels are concerned, I'm just at that point where I think it'll probably be easier just to script them and see what happens. Um, and I'll be doing more bookish stuff on my author channel. Over here, it'll be mostly just esoteric, occult, witchcraft, paganism, you name it, just general stuff. And with the inclusion of the conjuring table, it means I get to be a bit more uh, messy, I guess you could say, a bit more raw about the content that I then do upload, the content I film and then upload for you guys. Um, at the same time, I do find it a little bit more helpful to sit and write scripts here and there. I've currently written, I've, well, I haven't finished them, but I've started writing scripts for um, my top 10 favourite occult books, top 10 favourite pagan books. Um, and I've also been working on, for the last few months, I've been working on two videos to do with Kemeticism and Egyptian paganism, um, reading resources and that sort of stuff. Um, and then a, like a little bit of like a calendar discussion. And then the other being focused entirely on the occult and Thelema and other alternative uh, spiritual uh, paths. I'm also working on the Yamas and Niyamas video, which I'll be talking about hopefully in the next couple of weeks or so which I guess you could say is going to be like part two of the occult thoughts on yoga or occultist thoughts on yoga that I uploaded a couple of weeks ago. Um, that's basically just it. It just means I get to schedule things a little bit better. But as far as witchy videos are concerned, I don't know. Because at this point, there's a lot that I would like to upload and there's a lot that I would like to sit and take the time to plan to upload. But at the same time, I also see it as... This is my second chance at this channel and I wanna try and do better this time around. Um, and unfortunately, I don't wanna find myself in a rut where I'm consistently putting up a lot of beginner videos. I kinda of wanna do what I used to do. The last three or so years of my YouTube career, like way, way, way many years ago, um, I kind of moved away from all the beginner stuff and moved straight into more of, I guess you could say more of the intermediate and the higher tier stuff. So more occult stuff, more esoteric, um, with a lot more seriousness to them. Um, so my videos did get a little bit boring for some people, but that's where I found the most joy because the people who did find my videos and my content interesting were then able to have conversations with me and I was able to make lasting friendships through those particular crowds because we're a different breed of magicians. We kind of belong to the pagan community, but at the same time, we live very much on the outskirts of it. We're pariahs and a lot of pagans either don't know half the things that we do or they just think terrible things about us so we just kind of stay away and just continue uh being occultists instead so that's just our thing but as far as witchy content is concerned it's something that i would like to do but i don't know if i'm going to be able to do it anytime soon at the same time i also have to take into consideration that i also have a dog so half the things 
that I would normally do as just a regular working occult witch, I can't do them as much now because health and safety. <laughs> and I don't wanna harm my dog or anything. So it just makes things really difficult. Um, I have to be a lot more imaginative when it comes to um, spell work or ritual work and things, um, which in some way, I guess you could say has kind of made my magic a bit more boring <laughs> but it is what it is and we're still kind of like learning to adapt and things so i don't know i guess we'll see how that goes as far as the second part of the question i guess you could sort of see this as more of a a shout out um i've only got like a small list of channel names on my ipad which i'm going to be reading out to you um and at the same time because I've come back and because I'm slowly trying to work my way back into the pagan community, even though it has massively changed over the last five or so years that I haven't been around, um, it means again that I get to start again. So I'm trying to search and find uh, new pagans, new witches, new occultists, that sort of thing. Um, but at the same time, I don't want to find too much beginner content, otherwise that will just kind of turn me off. So if I can find other channels, that will be really handy for me at the level that I've been practicing magic for for a while, um, then I'd be happy with that. If there's something new that I don't know, I would love to check that out. So by all means, if you guys have any channels that you would like to recommend, by all means, put them down below in the description, sorry, in the comment section, um, because like I said in like previous videos, it's not just to help me and share information with me, but it's also to help and share information to other people who might be watching this video and then might wanna go down and scroll down into the comments and just see what happens to be there. So without further ado, and in no particular order, here are a few of the channels that I really like. For more esoteric and more occult Thelema focused uh, channels, I really do love the channel Esoterica. It's tons of information and book recommendations from that channel. Um, the gentleman who runs it is actually an academic. So I love his work and I love the work that he puts in. Um, and there's also the channel Freighter237. So for those of you who happen to be Thelemites or other practitioners of the occult, by all means, check out his work too. He's absolutely amazing. There is one other channel that I do love to watch and I cannot remember her name, but I will have her listed down below. Um, you guys will need to check out her channel as well. She's also an academic within the realm of esoteric and Western esotericism. Um, and it's just, I find that their videos are just incredibly informative. So yeah, it's definitely up my alley. <laughs> For more general um, astrology and spirituality, as well as tarot, because um, now I seem to understand that there is a huge tarot community. So I'm very slowly working my way through as many of the tarot channels as I can, because I'm also in the middle of trying to find an oracle deck. I don't really work with oracle decks. I find them quite, not difficult, but I just find them really unapproachable. And I feel like at this time in my life, I feel like I'm opening myself up to them. So I'm hoping that at some point through a various haul or a review or a flip through, I'll be able to discover an Oracle deck that I really like and I can eventually purchase and work with it a bit more, but I'm trying. Oracle decks are just not my favorite, but I am trying. <laughs> um, but some of the channels that I do absolutely love, I've mentioned one of them before, Helky Rain, she's a big uh, member of the tarot community. I love her videos, I love her content that she puts up on Instagram. She's just a really fun and really sweet and very kind person, so I would highly recommend that you go check her out. There's also Dispel the Moon Child, um, who is absolutely awesome as well. She's fairly, I, I don't know if she's new to the YouTube community, I'm sure she's been uploading for more than a year now, I think, but she just isn't getting enough love or attention. So I would highly recommend that you should go and check her out too. And the other channel that I absolutely love, especially for astrology updates and things is Bahati Life. Um, she just seems like such a sweetheart. I don't know her, um, but she seems like such a sweetheart, such a gentle soul. And I love her videos. She has a, a, like a huge selection of different types of videos from general spirituality to astrology to regular life vlogs and I like that nuance with her channel so I'd highly recommend checking her out as well. 
as far as witches and whatnot are concerned, um, one of my oldest friends, I have, although I haven't spoken to her in a number of years, because <laughs> a lot has happened in our lives, but I remember when she used to upload her very, very, very early videos. That's how long ago I used to upload and a bunch of other people used to upload. Um, is Hibiscus Moon. She is just absolutely amazing. Um, at the moment, she really has taken off in her career um, being an expert in crystal magic, crystal energy work and such. She's just absolutely amazing. She's also an author as well. And it's just so nice to see that we all sort of started out in the same place and we've all gone into different directions. It's absolutely fantastic. So besides her, there's Hibiscus Moon, there's Flora Sage, um, there's Chris Ashburn, who I would highly, highly, highly recommend if you are fairly new to magic um, and you just want to be able to practice witchcraft, but also look at witchcraft from a more modern point of view. She really does put a lot of effort and focus into combining both old techniques with the new techniques and really making the craft your own. So uh, the craft your own, sorry. So I would highly recommend checking her out as well. And she's absolutely fantastic. There are two other more recent witchy channels that I did come across. One um, I came across through Instagram actually, and he's absolutely fantastic. He's also a classicist uh, when it comes to uh, classical music. He's also classically trained. Um, and that is by Cat and Crow. Um, I would highly recommend checking out his channel. I've only recently started watching his videos, um, but from what I gather, if it's the same sort of content that he puts up on his Instagram, he's somebody that I would highly recommend you should not miss. His videos are absolutely fantastic. And as well as being classically trained, he's actually a flutist. So every so often he will upload his own uh, recitals or pieces that he's been practicing. And it's actually really nice. Again, it's that nuance. I just like the nuance of sort of showing people that even though I am a witch or an occultist or whatever, I also have to um, find ways to adapt my magical understanding and my spiritual life with my regular life. Otherwise, why switch it on and switch it off? Magic doesn't get switched on and switch off. So let it weave into everything that you do. So I would highly recommend checking out his channel as well. Another person that I liked is C'est Bon Bon. Now I came across her on TikTok when I did have a TikTok like a year ago. <laughs> um, I was only on TikTok for a short while. I just kind of got freaked out and I was just like, no, nope, I don't want people spying on me. <laughs> um, but I really like her channel. She seems really fun. She's really hilarious. She does a lot of story time videos alongside videos on more beginner magic and just sort of guiding people, which is really nice. Um, and she gives you more of an insight into how she uh, lives the magical life, basically. So yeah, those are my favorite channels at the moment. Um, yeah, so they're all listed below. Make sure you check them out. Going along the same lines of making the craft your own, which is something that I'm currently doing right now for my book and for myself just in general, like I have been my whole life. <laughs> um, the Kemetic Independent channel. Now, this is a channel, again, that goes all the way back. I remember when the Kemetic Independent channel um, first started up. That's, that's how old... I am, <laughs> or at least at least that's how old, or at least how long I used to upload for for a very long time, um, and I'm just so happy that the the same channel is still up. I I never seem to remember. I'm pretty sure her name is Joanne, but I never seem to remember um, the name of the, the main person who runs the actual channel. It's a lovely lady. Because her husband sometimes appears ever so often or you hear his voice in the background. They just have such a cute and dynamic relationship with each other. It's just, it's so cute. But when it comes to practicing um, Kemeticism or Egyptian paganism and then incorporating it into your own practices if you happen to be drawn towards more of the Egyptian pantheons and whatnot, um, I would highly recommend checking her out. Not only does she have a mixture of beginner, intermediate and higher tier, at least for my own rating, I guess you could say, um, sort of like guides and videos for those kind of practitioners who can go from like absolute beginners to really experienced. Um, she also does live um, sessions where she'll do um, various rituals like daily rituals or anything and she'll have those live up on her channel which is really nice um, so you can sort of just if she happens to have one up that's live you can just check in and just sort of listen to the conversation that's going on listen to the ritual that's going on um, and it's just nice to sort of stay in that holy and spiritual state 
in the middle of your regular day. It's just really nice to check in. She also does a lot of deep dives and book reviews as well. So if you've bought a few books that you're not too sure about, um, especially when it concerns Egyptian paganism or Kemeticism, and you're not too sure about it, she will give you a pretty honest review. Um, and that should help guide you in whether you should buy that book or not, or whether you should give that book to someone else or not and such and so forth. So she's absolutely full of tons of information and I would highly recommend that you check her out as well. For more general alternative spirituality, more general spirituality and yoga focused uh, spirituality, um, there are three channels in particular that I absolutely love um, and I highly recommend checking those out as well. So I'll put those ones down below, but those three women are Shayla Quinn, Liza Culper and Ariana Elizabeth. Um, Shayla Quinn and Ariana Elizabeth, I don't actually know if Liza Culper does it. I'm pretty sure she is. But the the first two at least anyway, because I've been watching their channels for quite a while, um, they are actually certified yoga teachers. So I think they have classes up on their own personal websites and things. So you can find more information um, from them. I just really like their yoga routines. They're kind of a mixture for, again, for beginners and more experienced yoga practitioners. By all means, check them out. So yeah. So those are my favorite channels at the moment. There are a ton of other channels I'm sure I've completely missed out on. Um, but like I said, I'm starting again. So if you do have any channels that you would highly recommend, by all means, put them down below. I've only watched a few videos from a few other channels, but I haven't watched enough to be able to say um, or discuss them at length, if that makes sense. So I don't know, this will be a question that I would like to perhaps consider answering again maybe a year from now I don't know and I'll just kind of see what happens and see what the pagan community is like a year from now I don't know what it's I don't know I honestly don't know what it's like now um back when I was uploading a lot more regularly there was a very big pagan community but we were all pretty close-knit in some form or another um it was just different we were a lot more supportive of each other we were a lot more jokey with each other we had a lot more fun whereas these days it's a bit more serious and I there's I'm sure there's a lot of other things I don't really know what else goes on so I need to try and figure out what's going on, but at the same time, I'm also like, I don't have time for that. <laughs> so I think I'm just gonna focus on just, you know, working with the spirits and just doing my own thing, working on my novels and my books and things, instead of worrying about what kind of drama, because it seems to be a very negative community at the moment, but I don't know how true that is. Um, but by all means, like I said before, if you have any channels that you would like me to check out, put them down in the comment section below so you can help me and other people who stumble on this video. And um, yeah, that's like the longest outro ever. So I'm gonna let it go. Thanks for watching, M Hotel. <laughs>